What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Kevin, aka Toying Around. Uh, you may be looking at this horse right now and asking, what the heck is going on here? But for those who don't know, this is a Mythic Legions Balius. I bought this from eCollectibles.ca here in Canada. Make sure you check them out for your future Mythic Legions needs. You can save 5% off of your order with the code Toying Around. The box. This is a big horse. Mythic Legions are around 7 inch scale, so they might be slightly big for Marvel Legends. It might fit, it might not. Uh, the point of this video is to see if this can fit not only with Mythic Legions, which I don't really collect, but I'm stepping out of my comfort zone to try this out, but to see if it also goes in with other lines as well, to showcase if this is something that might work for you if you want it for some other lines, and uh, to see how well this figure is made, how articulated it is. Uh, real quick, let's take a look at the box. Really awesome artwork, painted artwork on the side here. On the side of the box, you see the horse there, Balius. And then there's another version in this wave where it's a horse that's on fire. I mean, the name is called Mythic Legion, so there's some really cool stuff there. This is by Mythic Legions and the Four Horsemen. You can get it from their website right there and local comic shops, BBTS, etc. And on the back, more amazing artwork. Please don't judge my lack of wide dioramas. This isn't something that I normally review at this size. On the back it says, Once there was an age so far distant that only its stories remain. These are the stories of Mythos. Myth. O-S-S. Two S's, so I hope I'm saying that correctly. A peaceful kingdom populated by great beasts who walk side by side with women and men in a harmonious land, brimming with joy and prosperity. But these stories also tell of vast and terrible evil armies sent to destroy the kingdoms of Mythos and all who called them home. These stories immortalize the names of Leo, Decius, Basilia, Silona, and Ethiron. Man, all the Mythic Legions people are gonna rip my head off for this. The brave beasts who stood up and fought the dark forces threatening their beloved land of Mythos. Their bravery saved Mythos, but sadly after their stories ended, their land would remain forever stained by a darkness that will never be forgotten. Okay, I started reading this and I thought the rest of it was going to be French and other languages, so I'm not going to read the whole thing. The other side of the box also has some beautiful, beautiful artwork and the four horsemen writing on the front. Hey, thank you for checking out this review. Feel free to leave a thumbs up and a comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, share it with your friends. Share it on your favorite social media sites. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I do Unboxing Thursdays every week where I unbox new toys with a special guest. All right, now back to the review. All right, so this is Balius out of the box. It is, uh, as you can see, a very beautiful, beautiful looking horse, beautiful looking toy. Um, this is obviously an accessory to another character in Mythic Legions, uh, the Cabal. The Cabal, I think, are the fan base, what they call themselves. Uh, which character does he complement? I don't know. But based on some of the other uh, offerings Mythic Legions has for their horses, those ones are a little bit more mis mythic, mystical. Uh, so this was like the plainest looking one, and I thought that for photography's sake, even though I don't take that many photos, it would it would have crossover uh, appeal between different properties. It is complementary to another character. I don't know the name, but it comes with a sword. And uh, if I wanted a generic sword, this looks beautifully done. Really nice silver paint on here, and the handle is just two tones. It's a little bit of bronze, a little bit of black, and it blends in very nicely. Very great sculpt on the sword, and also comes with a shield. Uh, nice and simple design, but you can see it's very reflective as well, so it's got a nice finish to it. Uh, the paint job is nice, and it's got a simple handle on the back for any of your characters that have a nice C grip or anything to be able to hold the shield in front of them. That's not the main reason I bought these. I bought it just for this horse. Uh, where do we go? How do we even start? What, what's considered a good amount of POA for a giant horse? This is not a toy made for uh, little kids. This is not a kid's toy horse. I don't know where to begin. Do I just go articulation? Do I just go, how, how does it look? Let's see how it looks. And again, this is the first time I'm reviewing an animal, a horse. I really don't know where to start, where I should uh, really focus on or compare this to, but let's just take a look. There's a lot of detail on here to show, um, I guess, the texture on the face of this horse. It's got a little nice uh, blended in paint just down the middle here. The eyes are glossy and they're really nice. Uh, I don't know how that looks compared to a real horse. I don't recall ever seeing one that close. Uh, really beautiful paint on here on the nose mouth area. 
uh, just blended in from the brown here all the way to the darker black with this harness on his head. It appears removable. It's got the, the mane here. Is it called a mane? Or is that just reserved for lions? Uh, which is a, a soft plastic piece that goes on top on the back of the neck here. Nice detail on the front. When we move into the saddle area, you have the saddle. Uh, really beautiful and fine detail on the straps, giving this leather-like uh, texture. And then there's a this piece, whatever you would call it. What is it? A carpet? A rug? A piece of a piece of cloth? I don't know. Uh, that's textured as well. Uh, really clean paint on there. And of course, we have the hind quarters, uh, the legs, and the hooves. I mean. Just like on the face, it goes from the horse's main brown area, blends nicely into a darker color on the hooves at the bottom. And again, I can't find anything wrong with this paint job. It's just a beautifully done figure. Uh, in terms of articulation, you want to know how this articulates, how it can blend with your figures and for photography and for posing. Uh, you know what? Let's just give it a shot. I don't know. I don't know how this goes. The head should be able to look up, but then the hair pops off. So I'm not sure if that's supposed to happen or if I'm not supposed to make it look up that much. Uh, it does look down nicely. And I don't know if it's just my copy or if it's meant to do this, but it came off the peg really easily. So there's the peg, there's the articulation inside. You should be able to get this much movement <laughs> inside. Uh, is this made this way so that it doesn't snap or break easily? I I hope so. This is my first time buying a Mythic Legion, so I'm not sure. I don't have any Mythic Legion's uh, actual characters to compare this to. Again, this is from the point of view of someone who wants to see it with other lines. Uh, you have articulation right here on the neck area and I really like that they have this part of the the reins I guess that covers up that joint so you can you can really make the horse uh, move down look downward up to the side and after you've gotten your pose in just go ahead and cover it up with that and uh, that's one extra joint covered up no articulation in the body I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing just pointing it out for people you have a rotation here at the upper part of the leg. Uh, this part, if this were a human, it would be a knee, I guess. But that also turns as well, which is interesting. And uh, I'm not that familiar with horse anatomy. I don't know how accurate that is. But, you know, human anatomy, you wouldn't need that much swivel, but it's there. And if I guess this is the human equivalent of an ankle or wrist. Are these hands or feet? I don't know. On the back legs, uh, you can actually have this thing essentially standing up straight if you wanted to. Have both legs standing up straight if needed. The range here on this joint is pretty wide. It goes from all the way here to the front to this far in the back. Uh, this joint goes forward or straight like this. And another joint right there. This one rotates. And you also have a tail that can go 360 around the clock if needed. There's also a, a hinge there that allows it to, once it pegs into the butt, move downward, move upward. So now it's time for the real test. How do action figures that aren't Mythic Legions look on this horse? This is a Diamond Select Man in Black from the Westworld TV show. He stands approximately seven and a quarter inches tall. And uh, let's put him on. Uh, I hope he can even get into a, a riding position to begin with. So I finally managed to get the reins into his hands and I think this is a workable scale. Uh, from this angle, my camera is a little bit lower than the eye line of the horse. I think the scale works just fine here. If I were to put it eye level with the man in black, I think that works as well. If you bring it back a bit, it's a pretty good scale for diamond select. Now here we have a Marvel Legends Black Knight on the Ballius horse 
and I've heard some people say this is ridiculously uh, the wrong scale for Marvel Legends. I've also heard people say, you know what, I've seen horses that are gymungous and uh, this thing is not out of scale. You decide, again, this is, this is all about me showing to you uh, what it looks like and then you can make the decision for yourself. I've also switched on the sword that comes with the set into the Black Knight's hand as well as the shield just because the, uh, the Marvel Legends one was completely warped. So that's what he looks like on this horse. Does he look like a little kid on a pony or a little kid on a horse? You decide. And this horse, just from this position, stands at about eight and a half to eight and three quarters inches tall. So here's the Valius standing next to a Marvel Legends Black Knight, next to a Diamond Select Man in Black, next to a Mezco 112th Collective Batman, here it is next to a Marvel Legends She-Hulk, next to a Mafex Michael Jordan, here's Valius next to the horse from the McFarlane Sleepy Hollow playset, and here it is next to a Toy Biz Lord of the Rings horse. So finally, this toy is really new to me. Uh, if I were just to look at it as a toy, from a toy collector's perspective, it's a really incredible sculpt. The paint is beautiful. There's a lot of blending and gradient paint on here. Uh, there's detail to make it look like the hair on a horse, which is fantastic. Lots of POA that I didn't expect, and it's super heavy. It's like... 636 grams it's very posable it's very pretty uh, you can I think you can fit a lot of toys on it to make it look nice I think you can if some toys are a little bit smaller using force perspective with a camera if you're into photography you should be able to fudge it a little bit and again some people have told me horses can be big some horses you know, tower over people, police horses are really tall. I guess it all depends what you want to do with it. Now, I went in with this figure with a completely open mind. I've never had to review a horse before. I have nothing to compare it to. I've never really handled the Mythic Legions. So I think I'm a little bit worried about some of the joints, but maybe it's because I haven't handled it before, but everything feels solid. Uh, there's a bit of ratcheting in there. It's a really heavy figure, feels he hefty and bulky, so I think it's a good buy. Hit me up, leave a message at the bottom if you have this horse. If you're thinking about it, if you think you're gonna pass, let me know. Subscribe if you haven't already, and as always, keep toying around. Peace!